What is up everyone, my name is Jasper and today I started two new websites. Now this may come as a bit of a surprise, it definitely came as a surprise to me because my main goal of this year was to focus on my two existing websites. And instead of doing that, I'm adding two more to the mix. Now these two websites are a bit different from each other. One website is really just going to be an, a, a personal website, one that accompanies this channel. And the other one is more like a regular website that I'm adding to the portfolio. Now before I go and talk about these websites in particular and what the goals are for these websites, let's just first start with the reason why I'm actually starting these. So I've made a couple of videos about my goals for this year and one of the common themes that just always came up is that I needed to focus. I didn't want to spread my attention among several different websites, but I really just wanted to focus. So I decided to focus down on two websites. These are the accessory website and the case study website. So I really just wanted to focus on those and I didn't want to get distracted by shiny objects. Now the shiny object syndrome is something I'm pretty sure we've all uh, have had to deal with at some point and I'm pretty sure we're all going to have to deal with in some point in the future as well. But the thing is, I think that there's a big difference between a shiny object and an actual opportunity. And while the difference between the two may be very difficult to find, there really is only one way to figure it out and that is to just risk it. Now I'm not saying to just go after every shiny object, I do have a what I think is a legitimate reason for going after these websites. And on top of that, I really don't think that these two additional websites will be taking away much, if any, of the resources that I wanted to pour into the accessory and case study site. So I am starting two new websites, but they are going to be relatively low maintenance. And I think that that is a major upside to starting these two websites and not straying away from my goals. So the first site I'm starting is jasperpeterson.com and this site has been a long time coming and I finally decided to actually just start it. So the main reason that kind of pushed me over the edge to actually finally start this site is that I wanted to create an email list. Hopefully there's a link down in the description below where you can sign up to the email list. But I really wanted to start one and I already had the jasperpeterson.com domain so that was just a very simple solution for me. And the main reason I started an email list is because there's a lot of things I wanted to share that don't necessarily warrant its own video. So maybe small updates on my site, like there was a lot of things happening with the accessory website, for example, and maybe it doesn't really deserve a whole video, but it does deserve an email. And I think it's a perfect format and a perfect platform to kind of share these smaller updates. Now the smaller updates, of course, don't mean that I won't go into detail. I think written form is a fantastic way to kind of go into more detail and that's also what you can expect on the site itself. So the site itself will just basically uh, be accompanying this channel. So expect like income reports or maybe breakdowns uh, between ad networks, stuff like that. Just a lot of articles and content that has to do with blogging. Now don't expect this site to be updated daily. This is probably somewhere at the bottom of my priority list simply because this is a YMYL topic. Uh, I do have an audience here on YouTube that I can send over, but honestly, I don't see the site growing anytime soon if at all actually. So even though this site is there basically to just kind of accompany this, uh, this channel, it isn't really there to try and grow out into a large website. Now, of course, if that happens, that's great, that's fantastic. But honestly, it's just here to kind of accompany the channel and kind of build my personal brand. Now, there is one thing I do want to mention and that is maybe in the future, I will be offering some services. I've been thinking a lot about offering a service that creates video ads for you guys. So video ads is something I've been talking about a lot and I think isn't talked about enough, but it is an extremely simple way to up your revenue by about 10 to 20%. And I think a lot of people don't necessarily know how or want to make these videos. So I think offering a service like that could be very beneficial to both sides. But that is something for the future. For now, this website is basically just there for me to kind of write about my blogging journey. So I won't only be making videos about blogging, I will now also be blogging about blogging. Now, just as a quick extra reminder, I will be starting an email list. So go down to the description below and hopefully there will be a link where you can sign up to the email list. Now, one of the main uh, advantages to signing up to this email list is that I will be doing an in-depth progress report on the new website that I'm starting. So for the first six to probably 12 months or so, I will primarily be sharing all the updates and everything that I'm doing and all the figures and numbers via email. So this is a website that I'm super excited about because I think it's, it's like a huge gap in the market. So hopefully I can show some very prominent numbers. But those numbers and the breakdowns of those numbers will be primarily shared through the email list. 
But speaking about the other side, let's just dive into that side because that's the one I'm most excited about. So the other side I wanted to start is more like our typical niche website. This is a website that I'm going to be adding to the portfolio and that's going to be a priority. It's not like the jasperpeterse.com site where I will be making some updates whenever I feel like it or whenever there's something to share. This is actually a site I really wanted to build out. Now this is the site that really got me thinking if I should actually start it because starting another actual website will be taking away resources from the other sites that I wanted to focus on. Now the thing is that that is actually true but I kind of got to work around around that. So this is a niche where I'm not really going to review anything, but uh, it's a niche where I have a lot of passionate writers that are willing to write for free or for really low wages. So I think the main reason for that is that this is a really fun niche as well. People are already doing this and are already writing for it. And a lot of people have uh, actually contacted me and said that they wanted to write for the site for free if I would start it. Now, of course, I am not sure if I'm going to take them up on that offer. I will probably compensate them for the work anyway, but I know that there's a lot of people that are waiting to write for this and even for lower wages. So this may take away some resources, but not nearly as much as I would have thought in the first place. So in addition to the super cheap content, I also found out that there's basically just one website in this entire niche. Personally, I think that there's a lot of interest and a lot of people looking things up in this niche, but there's only one site out there. And that site, with all due respect, is good, but not great. And I think I can beat it. So when you combine the fact that there is a lot of people that are interested in this niche with the fact that there's only one site that's currently dominating and isn't even that large to begin with, it doesn't even cover about 10% of the entire topic. I think that this is a big opportunity to jump into. Now that really is the main reason and that's the reason I actually wanted to start this site. But the fact that people actually contacted me that they wanted to write for free or really cheap is the thing that pushed me over the edge to actually start this site. Now of course this website is not all rainbows and sunshine. I do have some things that I feel like aren't all that great for this niche. And first off, I don't think the RPMs are going to be all that great. This is a niche where RPMs, I feel like, are going to be on the lower side. But when you stack that up against the fact that the content is going to be super cheap as well, I think that will kind of even itself out. And with the large volume of possible visitors I think there are in this niche, I do think that this website will be running profitable. It may not be a site that's going to earn like $10,000 a month, but it can definitely be a site that earns like a few hundred to maybe a few thousand dollars a month. And aside from the lower RPMs, I could of course just be completely wrong about the interest and the competition. Uh, this is just something that I see after three years of experience. I think that there's a gap here, but of course it, I could be completely wrong about that. Maybe there just really aren't people interested in it and I got that wrong. Or maybe that one site that's already there is super solid and I can't even beat it. So I could of course be completely wrong about this site, but when you combine the fact that the articles are going to be very cheap and the upside, I do think there is a lot of upside there. I, I am willing to take that risk. So what's the plan for this website? Well, first off, I want to mention that I do not want this website to take away the resources for the accessory site. The accessory site exploded lately and there really is no sign of the growth stopping anytime soon. So I really want to pour most of my resources into that website. Now that is kind of remedied by the fact that I can get these articles for this website for free or really cheap. Now, by the way, if you guys have any suggestions for a cool like code name for this website, I really haven't come up with any. Please let me know in the comment section. I would be really interested to see. Um, I do kind of need a name for this site. But yeah, overall, like I don't want to take away any resources for the uh, accessory website and even the case study website, but I think that is doable. So what I will be doing and what I already did is I already went and did all the basic stuff. So I set up all these static pages like the home page, the privacy policy, about us, uh, the affiliate disclaimer, all that stuff. I set that up already. Uh, I will be going after a logo because I do need a logo on the site. Uh, and I've started to categorize the articles. I did some keyword research already and I think there's a lot of cool categories to cover. Aside from that, there really isn't much more to do for a website other than just producing content. And the way I'm going to do that is I have written a few myself already. I just need to publish them. But after that, I will be just handing it over to the writers that have offered to write for this website. So I will just let them run wild because with this website, I won't really be taking the usual approach. This website is more like uh, guide articles instead of like question articles. So uh, my usual article template doesn't really apply to this site. So my plan is to just let these writers do their thing and write the, their guides and stuff in a way that they think is best. 
So I think that these writers and with some additional content of myself, we can regularly update this website and hopefully we can get it to 100 articles in a couple of months. Now, other than that, this is also a kind of visual niche. So I will be doing some outreach to content creators and social channels. I usually don't really do this, but I think that there's a lot of merit for this particular niche. So I'll be doing a lot of outreach to content creators. There are a lot of people that I already have contact with. So I'll just try and establish some sort of connection there and hopefully we can help each other out and help each other grow. But other than that, there really aren't that many more uh, plans for this website. I'm just going to be taking the usual approach, grow it out to like 100 articles, see where it goes and make an educated decision from there on. But I do have some high hopes about this website. I think it's a great opportunity. So hopefully I was right about the low competition and the high search volume. And this will turn out to be a fantastic site for the portfolio. Anyway, that is really it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Also make sure to go down to the description and sign up for the email list if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.